All right, guys, so double foot sweep from close guard, and I'll do it here, I'll show it a couple times. So what I want you to do is just stand up. I'm gonna try to hold you down, stand up here. Here. All right, so let's break that down. First of all, you have to have the right conditions for this, all right? But I use this a lot in my early jiu-jitsu career. So the right conditions is the guy has to be standing up. If not gonna stand up, you're not gonna have this. But a lot of times, guys will stand up. And you'll also be trying to keep guys down a lot. So if you're trying to keep them down and you're standing up, th that's the scenario that we're working in. So, He's coming up, I'm holding him, holding him, holding him, making him work. And as soon as I feel like I'm ready, I'm pulling, 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 and I'm gonna drop my hip. Okay? So one is letting him come up, letting him work for it. And then two is that let go, and you drop your hips and bring your feet, your hands underneath his feet. Two here. All right, so that's like the second part. Third part is I am going to now raise my hips back up. All right, I'm not gonna necessarily push this way yet. I'm gonna raise my hips up. Well, the back of my thighs will get to the front of his thighs. And as I'm holding back here, these, these hands will act as a pick and he won't be able to stay up. All I need is a little pressure back, all right? And then from here, if I, here, move back just a little bit, Matt. If I try to get up, I get it up. He's going to be better off because he's lower than me. And he's going to raise my feet up. So the deal is, the higher person wins. All right? They're all win. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Less is a wall. All right. So from here, two hands on the back. And now we're going to raise high. Now I'm going to get much higher than that. He doesn't believe that. <laughs> All right? So, let's look at it. This way here. So I'm keeping my closed guard. I'm pulling in. He's coming up. He's coming up. Man, making him not. Like, I don't want him to come up. And then I'm going to let him win. And underneath. All right? From here, I'm going to come up. Up. All right, now I'm gonna take these two hands, I'm gonna put them on the mat, I'm gonna raise my hips up, and walk, 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 until I can settle into mount. All right. So I'm gonna show now like kind of the rhythm of it, because it's kind of slow in the beginning. Go, 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 go. And then from here, it's like one, two, three. All right, so. Slow, 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 slow. One, two, three. All right. Last time. You gotta make sure you spring him down. Holding him up, holding him up, holding, 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 holding. And drop. And then push. And then from here, a lot of people try to pull their legs out. But the reality is you can't, you can't get up here that easily. So I'm gonna take my hands, put them on the mat. I'm gonna raise my hips high. All right, and I'm gonna walk over, walk over, walk over. All right, let's look at that again. Just so you guys can see how to get up there. So, a lot of people get this sweep, but not a lot of people actually come up. They get the sweep, but then the other guy gets up. So, I'm gonna come from here. We're gonna both be coming up. Instead of me meeting him, I'm gonna change to here. And now I'm just gonna walk, walk, walk. He's trying to come up. I'm high on him now. I could settle right into the mount. Questions, guys? Try it out. All right, one, two, three. Nice.
All right. Here's a couple. Here's a couple points that you want to make sure you hit, you, need, you hit on this uh, double ankle sweep. All right. So first mistake people make is they don't hold enough. They just he kind of gets up and I just let him up. So the hold creates like a rubber band where when you let go, boom, it happens. He comes up and I come straight down. So you have to realize that there's this there's this drop. And realize you're opening your guard. I'm opening my guard to come down. So you're holding him down here, but you're also opening your guard, which is gonna bring you down. As he comes up, you're coming down, boom. All right, so you need to make sure that you drop your hips. The second mistake people make, uh, well, the first mistake would be they don't really hold him that much. And so it's not real dramatic when you get it, it's kind of, kind of halfway. Second thing is they grab here. And as I push, Matt steps back. See that little step he made? That little piece, especially this guy, he's like a nightmare to sweep. So you're gonna drop, your pinky's gonna be very close. See, watch, close to the mat. So now when he backs up, go ahead and back up, he just falls himself. There's a big difference between an inch and you know, a quarter inch or two inches. Is there a side you want him to fall onto more than no. the side of No, this is straight. Yeah. So whatever side you're choosing to get up on, like I'll get up on this side. So Matt comes up, drop down. And then from here, it's a jolt. It's a jolt. All right, boom. All right, and then I'm in this awkward stage here. My feet are gonna, let's move back just a little bit. I feel you're gonna stay on the on the ground here, all right? And I am gonna put my hands on the mat because I can't get up with two feet here. So I'm gonna just get my hips high. And then I'm walking back. And he may be scrambling, trying to get knees in. Doesn't matter, I'm on top now. All right, so let's try those things out. One, two, three.